Storm's coming in. Jason, we need to go. Everyone's already left. The storm's getting worse. The river's rising. We're gonna flood. 1,500 eye watches were deployed yesterday. CEO wants every salesperson in the field equipped. Eye watches? They weren't supposed to be distributed for another week. We'll have to reconfigure everything. Security, access control, the works. Systems are overloading. Website inundated. The new product has just hit the market. Less than a day, orders are pouring in. The CRM and ERP servers have never taken this much traffic. Not even 24 hours since product launch. Denial of service. Three DOS were being hit hard by a diversified distributed denial of service attack out of Eastern Europe. Five million connections are flooding in. This might be in response to the CEO's recent comments. Looks like we'll need to bring in that spokesperson training guy again. Jason, the water. The levels are rising. It's our primary data center. Speak to me, what's going on? The main water pipe burst before the river overflowed. Water's pouring in everywhere and it's rising by the minute. We need to get offline and switch to DR site. We gotta shut down all systems here. The website can't handle it. I was on the phone for two hours with one of our sales reps. And it's getting worse. Their customers with smartphones are complaining there's too much multimedia on the marketing side. It takes too long to load. If they can't get the info they need, they're threatening to go somewhere else. And that's not all. I'm hearing from corporate that employees are having trouble logging into the VPN. What about all that training? Well, if it ain't easy. Oh, they want us to do it for them. Look, that's the least of our problems. We had a traffic spike over the weekend. I didn't get any calls. But yeah, I had a VP of sales wanting to know why the network was so slow. I told them we provisioned a couple of virtual servers. They went online this morning, now traffic's back to normal. Do we deprovision the servers or leave them online? Just got a text. The CRM server is slow, again. Jason, how are we gonna configure it to run at optimal performance? I'm gonna be getting texts all day now. And we have a DDoS attack, again. Damn CEO keeps pissing off the hacker community. Two million hits in minutes. The firewalls are having trouble keeping up. Guys, this is crazy. We spend all our time in configuring the network, various services, security settings, the VPN. And then something changes, and we gotta start all over again. The CIOs are always yakking about being agile. But we're about as agile as an elephant on crutches. We have gotta be ready for anything. DDoS attacks have gotta become a thing of the past. VPN, a snap to log into. We gotta think differently. Do things differently from now on. Jason, we're gonna flood. The three DOS attack. But what about the website? The CRM and ERP servers? The water's rising fast. Everybody relax, we can handle it. This is why we went to a dynamic data center. Bill, I'm cutting over to the DR site in three, two, one. Beginning automatic fail over to DR site. And our dynamic data center is handling the extra load from the new product intro as we speak. Look at screen three. The ADCs are bursting traffic to the cloud as needed for extra capacity. As for the three DOS attack, if you'll notice the ADCs are handling it. They've dynamically adapted to the threat and replicated their defensive posture to the Singapore and Munich data centers. And don't worry about the eye watches. I saw that coming and created an IAP template weeks ago. With security optimization and customer rules, Half the sales force is already logged in. Okay, time to go. See you guys in the morning. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Stop worrying.